Budget insurance. Affordable because you can't afford not to. Hello and welcome to the inside of South Africa's most popular passenger vehicle, the Volkswagen Polo Vivo. Yes, for the last decade, month after month after month, the Polo Vivo is pretty much the best-selling car in this country. South Africans absolutely love this car. It's very well priced. It's very hard to compete against for other manufacturers because this car is made in South Africa. That brings the price down. And also, it's just a slightly older Polo. So they keep doing this. When the new generation comes out, they keep making the old generation, which was always a really, really good car. So it makes a lot of sense, this car, and that's why it finds a lot of homes. And now to increase the appeal of this already very appealing car, Volkswagen South Africa have released this, a SA only special called the Mswenko. Mswenko in Zulu means swag. I hope I'm doing a decent job of pronouncing it. And swag is what you might get if you buy one of these. Yeah, so this name is going to be quite challenging to a portion of our population, especially people like my mother who have been saying Mapumalanga for the last 30 years. No matter how hard I try to correct her, I say, Mom, there is no A between the M and the P. It's Mpumalanga. And then she says Mapumalanga. And then I give up. Now, before we get into this car review, I just wanted to remind you that Cars.coza is so much more than just a YouTube channel. We have the largest selection of used and new cars in South Africa anywhere on the South African internet for you to choose from. So head over to Cars at Coza right now, find your next car. I don't know why I did that pointy gun thing. Why do people do that? Ugh, I hate that, sorry. So why would you consider a Vivo Mswenko over a normal Vivo Comfort line on which the special edition is based? Well, VW will throw in many nice things. Let me take you through them. On the outside of the car, 16 inch alloy wheels finished in a lovely anthracite color, which also match the wing mirrors. And you get this lovely sticker pack down the side of the doors, which says Mswenko on it to differentiate you from people who have not bought a special edition Polo Vivo. On the inside of the car, you shall receive this anthracite headliner, which actually does look quite fancy. This leather steering wheel, a leather gear sock around the gear knob, a updated infotainment system around which is some lovely silver trimming. And this infotainment system has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, which is quite nice, which you won't get in the comfort line model and under my backside we'll cut to a shot of it now very fancy trimmed blue and and cream seats blue and gray which are exclusive to the special edition no one else will have them just you increase your swag with blue seats there are a couple of nice things missing though, which you'll still have to pay extra for. One of which is a reverse camera with rear parking sensors that will cost extra. And if you want cruise control, that's extra as well. Under the bonnet, which is French for bonnet, which is itself a French word. I just made that up right now, is the same 1.4 liter naturally aspirated engine. Now, the words naturally aspirated can be used to put your friends to sleep, but what it actually means is that there's no turbo or supercharger, and all you really have to worry about when it comes to that particular detail is that if you live up on the reef, uh, Gauteng for instance, or the Free State, your car will not be as potent, as powerful as it is down here at the coast. So it will feel a little bit sluggish up in Joburg. You might feel the lack of power and torque, for instance, when your car is fully loaded and you're trying to get up a hill. Then it won't feel as good as it does down here. Another reason to move to Cape Town, your polo will be stronger. But what this engine is quite good at is sipping fuel on the drive out here. I got it down to 13 Ks per litre. I think it can get better than that. That's about seven and a bit to the hundred. So that is pretty decent. And of course, these days, saving money at the pumps is a welcome thing indeed. Mm -hmm. 
So what don't I like about this Polo Vivo? Well, to be honest, it's hard not to like. I mean, I, I kind of get why so many people buy these things. There are a couple of things though, which I think are really missing at this price point. For instance, you can't adjust the wing mirrors electrically. You have to move this strange knob over here on the side of the car to adjust the mirrors. That's very weird. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Also, only the front passenger and front driver windows are electric, and so your rear passengers have to go through the hardship of rotating the window handle. Uh, it could have been nice to get automatic climate control, but it's manual, so you'll have to turn the knob when you want it to get colder. That's also very difficult. I'm not sure how you're gonna cope with that. And one of the design elements which I don't think is well thought through is this thingy here, this sort of center bin thing, which if I'm not mistaken is an optional extra, but it's sort of in the way when you want to change gear. I suppose maybe on long journeys it could be nice, you know, if you're just going to be in fifth gear for a while, but yeah, that's, that's not particularly well designed and it sort of, sort of gets in your way. Other than that, yeah, not, not much not to like here. So in terms of backup and warranty, there is a bit to discuss there. So for 246, you shall receive one times Polo Vivo from Swenko. You shall also receive a warranty of three years, 120,000 kilometers. However, you shall not receive a service plan. You'll have to spend extra on that. So for a three year service plan, you'll spend about 6,000 and you can actually take out a nine year service plan, which seems a bit unnecessary for 90,000 Rand. For me, the sweet spot is the four year service plan. Most people don't keep their cars for longer than four years. That'll cost you about 11,000 Rand and you can add that to the purchase price, which means you can finance it, which means you won't really feel the sting and then your car will be looked after for the next four years. I think that's really important. Must be honest, I would go for that for peace of mind if I was buying this car. And so in summary, yeah, I mean, they weren't really going to make a Polo Vivo worse, were they? Um, you know, I don't know how that was going to happen. And I really do think this car has quite a lot of appeal. So if you do like the Polo Vivo, but you want to stand out from the crowd a little bit, well, this is not a bad idea, is it? You'll just have to tell people that you bought a car called the Swag. I mean, you've got to have a lot of confidence to pull that off. <laughs> I don't. I, I can't. I can't. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Do you like clothes? I do. This is available right now on our sentimental shop. Just go to Casa Cosa forward slash shop or look for the description in the link below. <laughs> see what I did there just trying to catch you out and we've got tons of exclusive merchandise which is designed and made exclusively for our store I said exclusive twice because it's very exclusive also hats budget insurance affordable because you can't afford not to